Alavga and I so wanna please him. He's my dad and I never wanna lose him. His daily communication is my edification. Pleasing him is my desire to run the race and never retire. His grace is the wire that I require to light up the empire of his fire against the liar. I am the righteousness of God in Christ, so I need to live right, displaying the beauty of His light. For the world is always in the night, so I need to alight the fire from the altar of my heart. I am baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire, but I can't fulfill my Father's desire like a loose wire. I'm a Christian, but I've lost my fire. Trying harder, I only perspire because the liar and his cohorts have conspired to seize my fire. Publicly, I sound like a prayer warrior, but privately, I'm just a prayer failure, so I need to surrender to the Spirit's burning desire. Oh Holy Spirit, as I lift up my hands, well up within me your flood and break upon my praise, worshiping and pleasing you the rest of my days. Holy Spirit fire, revive me through the passion for your daily bread to set my soul on fire, for I don't want to live like the world. I turn the check to cover up my hypocrisy like a Pharisee, speaking tongues religiously only to go back home and still remain ordinary. Your Christian fire lying within, set ablaze, puts the enemy in craze, always. Burden me with a responsibility to fellowship with the Spirit daily. Speaking mysteries, only as the Spirit gives utterance. Ignite the consuming fire to bring out the inward power through the meditation of the daily man. Present higher in your glory is my desire. Building up this unquenchable power, purifying my heart's desire for I don't want to remain a haywire. Lead me. For those who are led by your Spirit are always on fire. They remain joyful through afflictions. They stand unbreakable in their convictions. Nothing can separate them from Christ, not even tribulations. I want to see me revived, my spirit alive, my body crucified and my soul renewed. Consume me, consuming fire. Lord, I surrender to your glory to die daily, to live holy, to please you only extraordinarily. Because that's who I am. A man on fire, unquenchable, ever powerful, causing havoc to the devil, like a bushfire because I speak the gospel. I'm the light of the world, a city set on a hill. I light up the fire for the lost and found to come see the beauty of the Christ in me, but not me. We are the vessels made by the porter and cannot be greater than our teacher but just like him the words i speak i speak not of myself but the father that dwelleth within he doeth the works so my boast is in the lord my god in right standing i stay connected to the fire inside to bring outside the fire inside as the epistle of christ i'm alive because i just don't want to be saved but to be transformed for the life I live is not I, but Christ who lives inside. With him I was crucified. My spirit testifies that my body is crucified, and the power of the flesh is denied. I turn many into righteousness, pleasing my Lord, waiting for the appearing of my Savior. The devil knows who I am, not just the church. The devil calls me the man on fire, my dad is glad, because I keep saving the Lord from hell fire with his fire inside. I'm a man on fire, I, hey. It's good to be saved, but you need to be transformed, not to conform carnally, but to be the platform to display the fire of the Father's kingdom spiritually. All eyes must see the consuming fire visibly, so work out your own salvation towards transformation. That's your reasonable service, our obligation. Let the world see the fire and give glory to the Father inside.